Hi, welcome to CIED 551 and EDUC 431. This video will give you a brief overview of this course on use of technology for instruction. This is me. I have a PhD in Communication and Information Sciences and I have been working with K-12 teachers and corporate trainers in how to use technology to enhance learning. I have been conducting research on what are the effective ways to use technology to enhance student learnings. And recently I was awarded a Fulbright scholarship so I conducted research on how technology can help enhance digital equity in Taiwan. There are four goals for this video introduction. First, I want to talk about the course objectives and assignments. Next, talk about different learning modules in Blackboard and the learning system we use for this course. So first, the course objectives. The first objective is to help you to gain factual understanding and examples of how technology can enhance student learning and one evidence that you will exhibit at the end of this course is to develop a project-based learning to show your understanding and bring actual instructional examples on how technology can be integrated into curriculum. The second objective of this course is to apply course material for learning so you will be developing a few small projects or develop lesson plans to show how technology or dig digital learning tools can be integrated into teaching and learning activities. The third objective is to develop skills and competencies on effective integration of technology to demonstrate your ability to accomplish this. You will develop an electronic portfolio to include evidence of your ability to integrate technology in K-12 education. Now let's talk about assignments. There are four ways you can actively participate in this online course through online discussion, completion of e-portfolio, and the project-based learning, and showcase ways to upgrade your curriculum using technology. Now let's dive into each component. For course participation, there are introductory activities in most modules. So when you complete these introductory activities in each module, you will receive a total of 10 points. And in each module, you should provide a substantial comment to each introductory activities. In other words, in each module, when someone or you have posted your introductory activities, you should browse around and look at what other people have posted and provide substantial comments, at least four sentences. Um, you can say, oh great, I like this project. That's kind of, that's what I call endorsement comments. You can show support for, to your fellow classmates. But to really give constructive feedback, you might want to say what you like about these projects and maybe they can improve certain areas or how you see this can be applied to other disciplines. Next, the electronic portfolio. Um, there are two parts to this electronic portfolio. Part one, you will be creating a site using a number of tools mentioned in the module with your self-introduction and a picture and your curriculum detail resume. Part two will be showcasing your competency in technology integration by bringing various lesson plans or activities you have developed throughout this course under different technology standards. So when it comes to this module, you will learn more about how to develop a professional portfolio for your career development. 
and you will be responsible to provide two comments to two different ePortfolio at the end of this course. Now let's talk about project-based learning. This is a way to develop a larger project lasting from one week to a month in which you will be using the PBL model to link objectives with assessment and encourage students to develop critical thinking. Um, so this, there's a template to develop the PBL. The project itself is 18 points and you are, will also provide two comments to two different projects at the end of this project period. Finally, the final assignment on curriculum upgrade in which you will look at an existing lesson plan or create a new lesson plan that you can integrate a new digital tool or technology that you have learned from this course or from your own professional development. For graduate students in CIED 551, you will develop three lesson plans in our five modules. There are five options you can choose from. And for undergraduate students in EDUC 431, you will develop two lesson plans. And so there will be five modules with curriculum upgrade, and you will be providing roughly two comments in each module for a total of 10 comments. Now let's look at our learning modules. There are 13 plus 1 units. Why do I call it 13 plus 1? Because there are actually 13 modules in on Blackboard. But there's also one optional module in which you can choose your own topic to replace some of the learning modules that you are familiar with or something that you really want to pursue, you want to spend your own time to be very good at. So you can use that extra unit to pursue your interest. The purpose is to provide more flexible path to learning. So on Blackboard you will see the module structure will usually start with objective of this module and introductory activities. Then some module will have curriculum upgrade, some don't, and if there's no curriculum upgrade you will then go ahead to, you can look at the extra readings or websites to further your learning. We are using two learning systems. One is Schoology, one is Blackboard. Blackboard is the content and Schoology is where you interact. So some of you might be very familiar with Schoology, some of you may have not heard of it. It's a very popular learning management system used in K-12 schools. Uh, it has also nice features, so I thought it would be good for you to become more familiar with this system if you are pre-service teachers to get you ready for your future workplace. And Blackboard is the university subscribed services which I have put all the content So that's it for this course. If you have any question, please feel free to email me or call me. My number is on the syllabus. And I hope you have a wonderful semester. I look forward to working with you. Thank you.